everyone. We're going to find the maximum value of positive integer n. Our n uh, is going to be less than 10. Uh, given a complex number, z equals negative 1 plus square root of 3 times i. Also, z to the power of n is a real number. So that means we're going to be using the Mulvers theorem here. Let's first write our uh, uh, complex number in trigonomic form. So basically we need to find our r. Our r is just the absolute value of z, which equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. So that's negative 1 squared plus square root of 3 squared. And this is going to equal uh, 2. So that's your r. And your angle, we'll just do inverse tan of y divided by x. So that's going to be square root of 3 divided by negative 1. And we can let that be 2 pi divided by 3. All right. So now let's write our form. We have z equals 2 times cosine of 2 pi divided by 3 plus i times sine of 2 pi divided by 3. Okay, from there, we need to do z to the power of n. So we're going to expand this. We we just wrote it this way. This is the shorthand way. And so this is going to be 2 to the power of n times cosine of 2 pi divided by 3 plus i times sine of 2 pi divided by 3 to the power of n. Now using our formula, I can write this out as equal to 2 to the power of n. And then we're going to have cosine of 2n pi. Make that an n and then pi divided by 3 plus i times sine of 2n pi divided by 3. All right, now that we have that, we know that c to the power of n is a real number. So our imaginary part should equal 0 if c to the power of n is just a real number. That means this imaginary part here, a sine of 2n pi divided by 3 uh, must equal 0. That's your imaginary part. So let's set it equal to, um, uh, when that's going to happen, we can have 2n pi divided by 3 equals pi, because that's where um, psi, this, this would have to be uh, 0. And then we're going to have k, uh, so we keep multiplying it by um, a k, and k is an integer. All right, so since we have that, we know that 2n equals 3k, just this part. All right, because the, the, the pi's would cancel out, and you can cross multiply. And n, therefore, if I let this be n, n's going to be a multiple of 3, because 2n is 3k. So basically, since n is less than 10, we're going to have n could equal 3. Add 3 more, n could equal 6, or n could equal 9. Therefore, your maximum value of a positive integer n is going to be n equals 9. So that's your maximum value for n. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.